Welcome back. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you three critical things that I think every new Tana user needs to do in order to make it stick for them so that they use it for the long term. Hey, I'm Ev and I create YouTube videos about how to level up your life and work using tools for thought. Starting in a new tool can often be overwhelming. New Tana users fall into two different categories. Ones that open up to a daily page, find it blank and wonder, what the heck am I supposed to be doing here? The second person, is those people who try and solve all their problems all at one time and put every one of their systems in and they quickly get overwhelmed. In both cases, usually what happens is they shut it down and they think, this is not the tool for me and they go back to what's familiar. So in today's video, I'm gonna share with you three practical things that I think every new Tana user should be doing so that they can get used to the tool, make it stick for the long term. So the first thing I think that every new Tana user should do is commit to opening up their daily page every day for 21 days in a row. They say it takes 21 days to build a habit. And this is something that we have as a challenge in the Tana Fast Track, and it's helped a lot of people uh, keep the habit going of opening up Tana. I do three things every morning when I open up my daily page and it doesn't have to be complicated. I find that people are really uh, magnetized towards complicated daily page setups, but actually all you need to do is open up your daily page and start writing. The first thing I do is I start a daily log, okay? Um, you can do this either through a field. I have done it here just with a node. Um, and all I do is I put the time in uh, so you can just go insert current time and I start writing. And I just do a quick daily log in the morning. What am I doing today? What am I feeling? How did I sleep last night? So many different things. I just start writing. It helps me to just really get a whole lot of things out of my head. And throughout the day, I just keep adding to the daily log. The next thing that I do is I like to do my schedule for the day. So if I've got meetings on, I can put those in. Um, and it's as simple as adding the time and saying, you know, meeting with Sarah, whoever it is. I might say, you know, I've got a Zoom this afternoon. It just helps me on the daily page to see where it is. Usually I kind of look in my calendar, see what I've got on and add it to the schedule. The last thing I do is I literally just have my to-do list. Um, you might have your to-do list somewhere else. Um, what I like uh, about Tana is being able to add it to the daily page. Um, so if you do have your task list somewhere else, you can reference nodes here. Um, and uh, sometimes, you know, the simplest way to do it is just to actually just brain dump. What have I got on today? I've got to film some YouTube videos. I've got to write some content. You know, there's a whole lot of things. And that's literally all I do every morning. I wake up, I do a daily log. I put my schedule in and I organize my to-do list for the day. So the second thing that I think every new Tana user should be doing is to create a setup page or a setup node. This is just one place where you can just put all the things that you're learning about Tana. An easy way to do this is to create a super tag that's called Tana Tip. All of my Fast Track students do this. It's a great way to one, write things down so that you start to remember them and two, have one central place where you can find all of those things that you're learning about Tana and the different setups and workflows that you wanna set up. As you're learning Tana, this is something I teach in Tana Fast Track, is as you're learning new things to write them down. Uh, and what we're gonna do is add a super tag called Tana Tip. And so that way you can find those things again when you need them. This is exactly how I learned Tana in the first few weeks is every time I learn something new, I would write it down. So for instance, let's say that you want to um, open a new window uh, with, when you press on a reference. What, if you learn how to do that, that's command click. So you can say command plus click opens a uh, side window. Okay, it opens it in the sidebar. Um, then all you have to do is add your Tana Tip super tag. If you don't have a Tana Tip super tag, it will create one for you. We're gonna do that. Now, once you start to add a whole lot of those Tana Tips in, then you can create a search node that finds all of them for you. So let's say we want to find nodes with a tag Tana Tip and view it as a list. Now we have all of our Tana Tips in one place, 
we'll just rename this Tana Tip. And then you can move this to anywhere in your sidebar that you want and you can keep adding to it. So as you learn new things, as you find things in Slack or maybe on Twitter you find something or somebody shows you um, another kind of way to do something, you can add it all in here and it's all in one place and you never have to go searching for it again. So the final thing that I think every Tana user should be doing is actually something they should not be doing and that's trying to solve all your problems all at the same time or put all of your systems in at the same time. The problem with that is that you're learning a new tool and you're trying to learn all the functions and then you're trying to create all these systems and it just becomes way too overwhelming. So what I suggest is that people solve one single problem, get used to that, get used to the functionalities, and then they can solve more problems. The thing I love about Tana is that it can be so simple if you keep it simple and if you stay in that simple mindset. So I think one of the main kind of things that you can solve is like tasks and projects. And it's literally so easy. You can either use, you know, if you've got something that you need to remember, I need to do this. So I need to, you know, buy milk or do whatever. You can either just create a task tag or use the inbuilt to do tag. Okay. So, and it's literally as easy as that, right? Like if you want to just remember, this is a task I've got to do add a super tag then as you need to solve more problems for instance maybe you don't need to buy milk today maybe you need to buy milk on thursday well then let's add a due date in um, so that you can remember to do that on thursday rather than have today uh, all filled up with with tasks that are not relevant to you so see how you solve one simple problem in that i need to i need a place to put all of my tasks then you think, oh, well, actually, my other problem is I don't need to do that today. I need to do that Thursday. So all you need to do is simply click on the task and configure it. You can give it a due date. Uh, you can give it another field. And, you know, so maybe you then start to add a status field. And then you start to add, um, you know, if it's recurring or if it belongs to a certain project. All of those kinds of things. But the, the, the thing that you should remember is don't try to solve problems in the future that you might have in the future okay solve your immediate problems now so if you need a place where you can find all of your tasks literally add the super tag and don't do anything else it's just one place where you can find that then as this starts to get way too many tasks in that super tag you might say okay i need a way to sort these so i'm going to add a status then i need a way to say well this is due thursday so add another field and so as you do that, your super tags build over time and the complexity of it builds over time, but it doesn't overwhelm you when you're first getting started. Okay, so start simple and solve your immediate problems first. So I hope you liked this video on three things that I think every new Tana user should be doing to get started and to make Tana stick for them. If you liked this video, please make sure that you give it a thumbs up and you subscribe to the channel because I make videos like this every week to help you level up your life and work using Tana. Now, if you really want to get started using Tana fast, you should check out my Tana Fast Track course. I go deep into how to set up your Tana workspace from the very beginning. We will set up six of the most common workflows Plus, you get access to the six core Tana Fast Track templates that you can install into your workspace and get started so fast. Check it out. I will leave the link below and I will see you in the next video.